case of the United States versus Jeff Fortenberry just went to the jury. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. Closing arguments and jury instructions in the federal trial concluded just moments ago. And now that the jury has it, they're going to deliberate whether the Nebraska congressman is guilty or not guilty of three felony charges. Fortenberry is accused of lying to the FBI about a 2016 campaign contribution from a Lebanese Nigerian businessman. KETV Newswatch 7's David Earl is live in Los Angeles with the first word on this afternoon's closing arguments. Yeah, Julie Robb, the case is now in the hands of a California jury who will decide the fate of Nebraska's first district congressman, Jeff Fortenberry. You know, prosecutors at the beginning of this told the jury this was a case all about choices, and they hammered that home in the closings I heard here inside court this afternoon. U.S. Attorney Susan Haar saying Congressman Fortenberry, quote, chose to conceal the truth chose to lie to federal investigators when they came to ask questions, believing his status and privilege as a congressman would shield him from his choices. And prosecutors again played that key 2018 phone call from Dr. Elias Ayub. He's the fundraiser host here in L.A. who testified earlier in this trial. On that call, Ayub told Fortenberry about the foreign campaign contributions. They played those interviews again, too, pointing out what they argue are Congressman Fortenberry's lies. That is what he is on trial for. As for the defense, it's all about reasonable doubt. They're trying to show Congressman Fortenberry didn't understand the phone call, that the Fortenberries have spotty cell service in their Lincoln home, and they've also argued the timing of the interviews clouded the congressman's memory, that the first interview came nine months after the phone call, the second interview came more than a year later. And David, the jury has the case now. What are you hearing about the process going forward? Yeah, Rob, it is our expectation that the jury will spend some time on this today. It is, of course, just after 4 o'clock here on the West Coast. The judge indicated yesterday that he wouldn't keep anyone past 4.30 today. We're going to wait to see if that is still the case. Could very well be that the jury goes home today and then picks up deliberations tomorrow. We'll be here at the courthouse if the verdict comes in. All right, David Earl, watching this unfold for us in Los Angeles again. Thanks. And we have more now on today's testimony for the defense. Fortenberry's team put the congressman's wife, Celeste, on the stand today. She has been with him every day of this trial in Los Angeles. Mrs. Fortenberry said her husband often does something else while on fundraising calls. She testified he hates those calls and that the multitasking helps him get through it. As for the defense that Fortenberry had a bad connection when he got that 2018 phone call informing him of the foreign money, Celeste Fortenberry says service is spotty at their central Lincoln home and that their kids complain about it all the time. The congressman's wife says, we live in Nebraska. The state has kind of lousy cell phone service. 